In a few days I'm flying from Paris to Istanbul to get bridal hockey implants. I'm really really excited. In fact it, in 2016, um, 2016 or 2015 I already got my eyes color changed uh, with keratopigmentation technique uh, as you can see here. Honestly speaking after almost six years um, I'm not satisfied at all uh, with keratopigmentation and I wouldn't recommend this procedure to anyone um, looking for a very bright and natural result. Um, ocular implants or keratopigmentation both have their pros and cons um, but for me bright ocular is superior than kerato um, let me explain keratopigmentation is a very safe technique okay but when it comes to the aesthetic results it's really bad like uh, in the short term and in the long term you look at my eyes, like it looks like contacts. Ocular, on the other hand, will give you a perfect and beautiful result, but um, it requires some dedication and hard work to keep your eyes healthy. Like you need to do checkups every month minimum, um, and you you need to keep a healthy lifestyle to avoid all side effects and complications that you you could get. There are two major issues with keratopigmentation technique. Uh, the first one, and I would say it's the biggest one, um, is the result. The result is not natural at all. And why? Why doesn't it look natural? Um, so, the, it's because of the fact that the color pigment is deposited on the cornea of the eye. Uh, so, in fact, it creates the exact same effect than a simple pair of contacts. Simple. And when people talk to me, they're like, oh, um, are you wearing contacts? Um, like, 90% 90, 90 of the time, it's always the same. Like. I say to them no and they don't believe me they're, they're like um, how is that possible like it really looks like contacts so um, ocular, uh, the implant is rather inserted in the iris zone of the eyes um, which gives a very natural look uh, because it almost emulates um, the real iris, the real human iris, right? The second problem with keratopigmentation is the pigment. Like the color fades very fast um, after only a few months. Like after two months, two, three months, the color starts, starts to be less bright. Um, it starts to fade um, and you the only thing you can do is to do touch-ups like uh, like tattoos right but like my eyes before were much more brighter than what you see here um, so it's like it's a waste of money so um, to keep the color you need to do touch-ups every three four months and that's not worth it um, I personally did only one touch-up, it was in 2019 um, and the color started to fade only after four or five weeks and then I tried to get a second touch-up uh, but the doctor was fully booked um, so that's a waste of time and waste of money um, after that I was like uh, okay it's not worth it to spend so much money uh, and time for for this and I simply started to wear contacts yeah easier easier and cheaper because touch-ups are not free of course 
uh, they cost a uh, thousand euros approximately depends on the on the clinics uh, so yeah moreover uh, good quality contacts are better looks look better than keratopigmentation because keratopigmentation look like very old like uh, very bad quality contacts so 